Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can convert the toy data sets into a proper data frame. So these toy data sets are part of the libraries like sklearn or stat models which has a lot of statistical functions and what you want is basically convert in a proper data frame so you can do some analysis on that using the pandas library and pandas library usually work on the data frames so what we will do in this video is convert that toy data set into a data frame so what we'll do is uh, first of all let's import uh, pandas as pd and let's from uh, sklearn dot data sets import and as soon as i write load and press tab you will see that there are a lot of data sets over here so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and use the load underscore boston which is the prices related to the housing uh, in the boston area in the united states i press ctrl enter or shift enter to come on the next line and then i will write create an object from the load underscore boston to get it into a object so here i am uh, with the Boston, the all of that information which is present as part of the dictionary will be present over here, and I can now further manipulate. If I write Boston dot and press tab, you will see that it has a lot of uh, information like data, which is basically all the dependent variable. If I talk uh, in machine learning language, uh, I'm sorry, that independent variable, and the target is basically the in uh, dependent variable. So target is dependent on all these independent variables for their prediction and that's why from the scikit-learn which is a machine learning library you have this data set. So what we need to do is we need to get the data from dot data because right now if I just write Boston dot data and press shift enter you will get an array form data in the array form and that's not very useful for a human eye or for a person who is used to of seeing excel tables and all so what we will going to do is uh, we will convert this into a proper data frame so that we can you know do this excel. you can you can do the analyze but you can analyze it further so let's go ahead and uh, create something called post underscore df which is a data frame and what we will use is pandas library d and the data frame method and simply pass boston dot data and if i press shift enter and now if i see boston underscore df press control enter here is my observations right so first column second column third column all of this information but as you can see this is not meaningful right we should have a proper column name so your column names are present in something called Boston dot feature underscore names so these are the column names again as part of an array from the toy data set which is Boston so what we can do is we will write Boston give us space Boston underscore df dot something which is columns so what we are doing is we are assigning the Boston columns to these feature names and then let's go ahead and show the show you the data frame so now you can see all of those features are here in this column and I can simply move ahead with the final variable which is target variable so what I can do is I can simply write price because price is the last column and uh, before I write let's say I want you want to sh see it so Boston dot target I press and I'll just comment it Control enter these are the price information so what I can do is now give a space Boston underscore uh, Boston underscore DF specify the price to create a new column at the end and what we are indicating is Boston dot target and go ahead and show it to us Boston underscore DF all right so here we have uh, as part of the last column Boston price and this is the way by which you can create a column so now your data set is ready 
and whatever analysis you want to do like poster dot add to see first few observations if i just comment it out so that it is not adding it again first few observation boston had dot tail sorting you know slicing dicing all of that information which i have covered previously in my videos you can apply all of that so that's the idea i wanted to give you wanted to give about uh, how you can convert the toy data sets into a data frame